Well, our Southern Bell Caterer is back. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. And Lydia Lewis uh, from Gnomes Catering is an event planning is here and she is sharing her great lamb chop recipe here. All right. So we have got mm -hmm. a good old cast iron skillet going here. Butter was getting a little bit warm and a couple of good lamb chops. What do you um, dust them with? Anything? Okay. I dust them with a pink Himalayan, Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. um, also, I might do mortar on steak season because I think it's you should treat it like a steak. Um, and I let them like get warm room temperature before I start cooking them. Which is so, the secret to cooking any sort of meat like yeah. that. Bring it up to room temperature first, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah, I think it cooks well and you get the flavors absorbed just like how you like it. And then it's easier to get that nice crisp on those lamb chops. So is that kind of what makes it different? I, it makes it different, mm -hmm. you know. I think lamb chops is a simple, easy meal. Anybody can really make it. You know, it's so dummy proof. If you ask me. <laughs> and I think it is. Yeah. And that's one of those things that nobody ever really thinks of yeah. lamb chops. And everybody's kind of like, ooh, I don't like the flavor of it. And you got to, you know, everybody does the traditional mint jelly with it, which you don't have to do, right? You know, I have done it with a truffle, truffle sauce. I've done it with a mint chimichurri. I've done it with a regular chimichurri. I've done it with a white sauce. Which way goes over the best? Uh, the mint chimichurri, everybody talks about that. That's the most popular that people always ask about. That sounds amazing too. Okay, My now goodness. will okay. these finish in the pan also? They were finished. Okay. You know, most of the time you like a like a medium on your lamb chop. Right. And you can put the butter and the garlic and the thyme and the rosemary. That's what how I like to do mine. So I've got basic. butter in there and then more butter. Is butter going in. A little bit more butter. Okay. Yeah. And Perfect herbs in here, and oh, just another whole stick of butter. <laughs> kind of good, so. You know, you only you live once, right, yeah. folks? Butter, you can't go wrong, right? No, butter, you know, <laughs> is one of the things that it works pretty well with the dish. It's not okay. like you're going to eat this three meals a day every day, <laughs> no. right? You can just splurge a little special bit. Special occasion. And speaking of special occasions, Valentine's Day, of course, coming up. What do you've got going on? Well, I'm unfortunately I am booked for Valentine's Day. You know, every that's you know because COVID is so bad right now, people don't want to eat out. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my client base they like, hey, can you come in? You know, cook for Valentine's Day. So I'm booked, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, here you go, a simple meal that you can make, and you can do a lot with lamb chops. You can add potatoes with it. You can do a risotto. You can also do like a salad. Keep it simple, also. Okay, so this would be if you want to really impress your date mm -hmm. and do something good. Oh, look, honey, I made lamb chops. <laughs> In that voice, too. In that voice, too. <laughs> then they're going to run the other direction if you do that. So, yes. so overall, back to, back to cooking these. Um, so I've got all the butter in here. Yeah, you um, do. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you only live once. Um, how long will they take to cook? Are they almost done? They I mean, usually cook like probably like two and a half, three minutes per side. Okay. Because you don't want them that brown. You don't want to overcook them because you lose the flavor and you want that tenderness when you bite into it. Is this one of the dishes that you do uh, for your catering? Yes, I do this for private, more so lamb chops and more so private stuff mm -hmm. because, okay. you know, lamb chops are hard to attain. Yeah. What are some of the most popular dishes that folks request? Um, people usually request seafood, mm -hmm. steak, because we live in Texas. Um, lamb chops is popular. And then I can probably say mm, fish. Mm -hmm. Fish. How, am I, how do you think I'm doing over here? It's got I a think pretty you can good pull touch. them off. You can really pull them off and let them cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you serve it alongside? And that right there, I have a summer salad with blue cheese, um, um, almonds and strawberries. And that's the thing also when mm -hmm. cooking uh, meat like this, you don't want to get it completely done in the pan because then there's going to be a little bit of residual cooking mm -hmm. too, right? So that's still going to cook up somewhat there, right? And this time that I've used that for a sauce, I'll probably make it into a little sauce and drizzle it on the lamb chops. Okay, would you add anything to this to, to sauce it up a little bit? Yes, I'll probably add like a white wine and let it like reduce and Give it a nice. Uh, I was looking over at the bartender's table. No white wine over there, so we can't make a sauce out of this. So. I'll probably reduce it, and yeah. then I would drizzle it on the lamb chops. Ooh. But I've done it so many different ways. Okay. All right. Great stuff. Thank, Thank you so we'll, much. We'll, we'll, we'll skip the wine and just drizzle a little bit on here. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. For more information on Gnome's Catering and event planning, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or you see it right there on the bottom left of your screen. Just snap that. QR code. Oh, and those garlic cloves when they've been sauteing in that butter. Ooh, a <laughs> little bit of heaven right there. Thank you so very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.